Hi there! In this video I will explain what a MacSec is, its importance in the automotive industry and how NXP's Ethernet products make use of it. If that's interesting for you, stick around. First, what is MacSec? MacSec stands for Media Access Control Security and is standardised as IEEE 802.1AE. The protocol is a standard for authenticating and encrypting the data between MacSec capable devices. Why is MacSec important for the automotive industry? The EE architecture is moving away from the traditional fixed function boxes. In modern architecture, data is aggregated, pre and post processed in different locations of the network. These nodes that are distributed across the network leave open ends that are susceptible to attack. This led to the automotive industry's greater focus on the authenticity and integrity of the data. How does MacSec operate? Within the OSI layer model, MacSec occupies layer 2. On the transmitting end of the link, MacSec adds additional information to the frames. The information includes a Mac security tag or SEC tag and an ICV, integrity check value, to the frames. If needed, the payload itself can be encrypted as well. On the receiving end of the link, MacSec identifies and decrypts the frames, checks for an authenticated link partner, checks the integrity, provides replay protection, removes the SEC tag and ICV, and discards and monitors invalid frames. What are the challenges of using MacSec? To enhance the security of FI devices, MacSec adds a SEC tag and ICV to the frames. This additional information increases the frame size, which leads to packet drops between XMII and the physical layer, resulting in incomplete data transmission. How did NXP overcome this challenge? NXP came up with four potential solutions. Flow control, stall signal, extended inter-packet gap, and TLV header. While the first two, flow control and stall signal, solved the packet drop issue, they created new issues like latency and compatibility problems. The other two proved to be more robust solutions, so those are the ones that are used in NXP MacSec devices. In the extended inter-packet gap approach, the gap between two subsequent packets is increased by the Mac. This solution ensures that the succeeding packet is sent after the preceding packet has been transmitted. The last approach makes use of an NXP proprietary TLV header. This approach requires a small modification of the network stack to insert the static TLV header into each frame. Also, for this approach, no state machines or complicated software logic is required. Where does MacSec fit into your network? The MacSec protocol can run in hardware or software in different locations, namely the host controller, FI or the switches. Given the value addition, several upcoming NXP FIs, switches and processors will have integrated MacSec. Will the MacSec devices get software support? All our Ethernet devices that have integrated MacSec can integrate into AutoSAR MKA. This was achieved with the help of MacSec relevant APIs derived from R22-11. So, this has been a short introduction to MacSec. If you're interested to learn more about NXP's MacSec integrated Ethernet products, visit our product page on nxp.com slash tja1104 and nxp.com slash tja1121. There you'll find documentation, fact sheets, software drivers and much more.